Let's look at Netscout's security without borders in action with a demonstration of Omnis Cyber Investigator in the hybrid cloud. This demonstration will consist of a number of sections, an introduction, a Cyber Investigator in action, a demonstration showing the workflows to help identify threats in the environments and provide details to other systems such as firewalls or IDSs to block these events for ongoing protection. And then more demonstrations of how a Cyber Investigator fits into an existing security ecosystem, where events from a third party SIM, Splunk, receives security events from other systems and then can leverage the insights and workflows of Cyber Investigator for further host analysis. I'll also show you the Splunk Cyber Investigator app, as well as how we're integrated into AWS Security Hub. Anyway, let's get started. Netscat Technology leverages Packet Data, a high fidelity data stream available no matter where you deploy your workloads, on-prem and in the cloud. Netscout Hardware, Infinistream, ISNG, or its virtual companion, vStream, converts packet data in real time into smart data, key performance and security indicators. It also stores sessions and packets for historical retrieval and analysis. This creates a cost-effective, versatile service assurance and security visibility solution, reusing the same instrumentation in the cloud and on-prem for both NetOps and SecOps use cases. For example, smart data is used by the NetScout Ingenious One platform for service assurance, network and advanced application troubleshooting. And for security insights, smart data is leveraged by Omnis Cyber Investigator to provide detection and investigation into cyber security threats. We'll be concentrating on Cyber Investigator for this demonstration, which provides three key functions, the ability to detect, investigate and remediate. It detects security risks, weak security practices in your environment, security threats, threats such as DDoS inside your infrastructure, and cyber threats, evidence of known bad actors or indicators of compromise your workloads are accessing. It provides workflows to investigate, conduct quick contextual investigation into threats detected by cyber investigator or threats detected by third party SIMs such as Splunk, Snort, etc. And finally, it provides the ability to automate the remediation and configuration of third-party firewalls, advising them to block these detected threats after identification and verification. A hybrid architecture encompasses virtual machines in the data center and workloads instances in AWS, interconnected over Direct Connect and VPN. The resources are being accessed by the users wherever they are over the internet and of course through the WAN architecture. Without the protection of threat detection and mitigation, these workloads, and therefore the business, are at risk from external threats from bad actors or botnets, which lie in wait and can spread themselves into the workloads. Without constant visibility, you're blind and don't know whether or not your instances and VMs have been compromised. Forgotten workloads in AWS drifted instances can be compromised and you just won't know about it. Compute resources in the data center, monitored by ISNG or vStream, which receive the packets from spans or taps, aggregation switches, or even through VNF, or service insertion technologies in the case of VMware NSX. The smart data is forwarded to the relevant platform, Ingenious One for performance and service assurance, and Cyber Investigator for the security insights. Workloads on the public cloud, in this case AWS, are being monitored by vStream, hosted in AWS VPCs, where their traffic is sent from the EC2 instances ENI to the vStream using VPC traffic mirroring. Of course, we can leverage other AWS architectural components, such as the gateway load balancer, to gain access to the packets more efficiently behind fleets of appliances like firewalls or IDSs. Our hybrid vStreams report back to both the Nginx1 and Cyber Investigator hosted on-prem providing the single pane of glass for the service insurance and security insights we need, no matter where the workloads are deployed. This is Netscout Visibility Without Borders, and in the context of this demo, Security Without Borders, in action. Cyber Investigator can detect threats and then allows us to investigate them. In this case, it's taking intelligence feeds from Atlas, Netscout's own intelligence platform, and additional third-party intelligence feeds using Styx taxi standards. Cyber Investigator reveals rogue sites and servers your workloads are accessing, and once identified, allows contextualized investigation through host analysis and detailed session and packet tracing, revealing which of your hosts have been compromised and uncovering the detail of the transactions. If more than likely you have other threat detection platforms and SIMs such as Snort, Splunk, and AWS Security Hub, then you can use the context from these platforms to drill down into Cyber Investigator to further investigate threats they've discovered 
A key advantage of NetScout technology is that it has historical host conversation session and packet level context, which means that threats detected by other platforms, say through logs, can be further investigated, revealing the details of the instances and servers compromised, who they've been talking to, the granular details of the threat to assist in the identification and classification of the threat to help protect from further attacks in the future. This is Omnis Cyber Investigator in action, and here's the Cyber Threat Dashboard, illustrating the different threats present in your on-prem and cloud workloads. Indicators of compromise, IOCs from live intelligence feeds, in this case Atlas and Anomaly Limo, are matched against traffic profiles observed by vStream Smart Data, deployed in the hybrid architecture, telling you known rogue sites and servers your workloads are accessing. These can be classified by threat policy, category, and let's choose classification to help with the investigation. We see malware, campaigns and targeted attacks, and command and control, with malware at the forefront, with 10 hosts affected and 216 violations within the last hour. That's worth investigating further, as this is high confidence discovery in your network. Drilling down to the risk reveals the affected hosts and IOC violations in both on-prem, in Dallas DFW data center, and AWS EC2 instances. For the 45, 118, 133, 60 IOC to an on-prem host 192.168.1561, we see 12 violations or accesses to this site in the last hour. And the same IOC site has been accessed by the AWS EC2 instance 10.4.1.149. Cyber Investigator learned this advanced persistent threat IOC from Atlas and matched it to your network traffic. But you can see it knows about and unfortunately it has seen many other threat policies present in your network. Scanning across, we see volume of traffic over time for this threat. So let's dig a bit deeper and expand this view with Host Investigator. It's affecting the EC2 instance in AWS 10.4.1.149 and the threat site is 45.118.133.60 in, in Singapore. We see the volume of traffic in and out, which helps us see if the traffic is being exported or the amount of unnecessary bandwidth the threat is causing. In this case, only a small amount of traffic, and the concern here is that your workloads are accessing this dangerous site. Okay, so let's visualize who else is compromised and where they are. Yes, here are the hosts. Malicious traffic to the site from resources in both AWS, denoted by the EC2 internal tags on the host name, and on-prem, denoted by DC1 boss and DC2 DFW tags. OK, we've identified the impact of this IOC, the infected hosts, which is great, but there's more and we can drill down into the detail. Here's the sessions, the individual attempts to access this known rogue server from each of the clients in your hybrid architecture. And if required, we can drill down to the packets with the detail of the threat to see if any confidential data has been exfiltrated out of the network. This is significant more than just the IP address and port but in this case, the exact URI that your compromised workload is attempting to communicate with and potentially the code that is going to run the malware. This information is vital to allow you to do targeted blocking for this site using firewalls, intruder protection systems or IPSs. After all, if you don't know what to block, then how can you block it? Cyber Investigator provides this detail and can automate the deployment of specific rules into these devices if required. Threat protection technology from NetScout's Arbor Edge Defense AED can guard against this malware even hitting your network in the first place. And of course, it can be enriched by new discoveries in the network established using Cyber Investigator hunting and investigation tools. To continue our investigation in Cyber Investigator, we can also trace back what else that malware affected instance has communicated with and perhaps see malware propagation. In this case, our drifted EC2 instance in AWS, which has long been forgotten about and has not received important software updates, has been infected until now undetected by all sorts of malware, which has attached itself to other instances both in AWS and on-prem. Cyber Investigator Visibility can really get Instance Drift back under control and provide you with the tools to track and trace and hunt through your hybrid environment as I've demonstrated here. Of course, this could be an active instance, which on further investigation you see is communicating with many other resources, both in the cloud and on-prem. A combination of known or safe connections versus malicious communications. 
Omnis Cyber Investigator delivers you the security visibility required to protect your hybrid and multi-cloud environments from cyber threats by providing you the tooling to detect, investigate, and then action or remediate threats in your network wherever your workloads reside. It is also integrated into the ecosystem of security or SIM tools such as Splunk or Elasticsearch or AWS Security Hub which can receive alerts from cyber investigator discovered threats and provide the ability to drill back down from the SIM into cyber investigator to leverage its powerful contextualized investigation. Splunk is designed to ingest data from multiple sources, including performance and security events, logs, server information, and so on, and then provides high-level analysis and charting of the data in its model. Here's an example of the Splunk dashboard we've created for this demonstration, in this case populated with a combination of performance smart data from Netscout and events from an IDS, Snort3 in this case, a common tool in the security ecosystem, a platform which detects security events going on in the network based on rules created. The dashboard displays different charts of the security data, IDS messages, different security classifications, and all the events. These events are being identified by the specific IDS rules, but the data is only alert logs, and therefore network context is limited to allow for investigation of the breach further. And that's where we can leverage Cyber Investigator. By clicking on the event in Splunk, the event message domain weekendstrips.net relating to the 2021960.5 host, we link straight to the Cyber Investigator host analysis view. Cyber Investigator Smart Data already knows about this site as it's been analyzing the traffic on the network in both on prem and in cloud, and displays the VMs on prem and the EC2 instances in AWS that are communicating with the host and the malicious traffic. We see the traffic distribution over time, the PCR and the TCP distribution. Cyber Investigator has also run its own analysis of the traffic or smart data from vStream, which is also deployed in the environment. It has classified the various IOCs, in this case from the Atlas intelligence feed, and analyzed the nature of the event, a DNS attack, and lists the DNS lookups being made. We can drill down to packets and see DNS traffic if we want further clues of the hosts and domain being requested through DNS. Cyber Investigator also provides the details of the underlying traffic to that host and the distribution of traffic over time, the malicious traffic, DNS, HTTPS, ICMP, etc. Its packet forensic capability, like in an earlier demonstration, delivers vital details such as IP addresses, packet patterns, URIs, which allow you to do targeted blocking for the site using firewalls or intruder protection systems, IPSs, and of course, as mentioned before, can automate the deployment of specific roles into these devices if required. Additionally, threat protection technology from Netscout's Arbor Edge Defense, AED, can guard against these attacks and other IOCs ever hitting your network in the first place. This demonstrates the complementary nature of Cyber Investigator with other SIEM systems, in this case Splunk, you may already have, and how it can be part of your security ecosystem, providing new workflows for network investigation and analysis, leveraging smart data for additional security insights above and beyond the information provided by the SIEM. Splunk is a very popular SIM tool, very good at ingesting data from multiple sources, including performance and security events, and providing high-level analysis charting of the data in its model. Here's a quick view of the Splunk Cyber Investigator app in action. We see the Cyber Dashboard, populated with the same events generated by Cyber Investigator in the context of security risks, threat indicators, and cyber threats, just like we saw in Cyber Investigator itself, but now integrated into the Splunk platform. Clicking on one of the events, 185.99.266, we get a report by category and by event, plus the individual events that were generated by Cyber Investigator and then sent to Splunk. There's a drill down back to Cyber Investigator, right to the context of the event in question. First, we see a list of hosts displayed accessing the IOC IP address. We get more information on the nature of the event, this time discovered through a match of the network traffic seen by vStream in AWS with the intelligence feed from Anomaly Limo. We also see the details of the hosts that were affected, this time both EC2 instances in AWS. Let's change the view to Host Investigator and visualize the malicious traffic from the instances to the IOC host. From here we can also gain access to the sessions and packets for the event if necessary. Finally, we can expand one of the hosts to see who the hosts have been communicating with to discover unusual behavior or perhaps lateral movement of the malware in the network. In summary, the Netscout Cyber Investigator app for Splunk delivers a valuable new security event data source, this time based on Netscout Smart Data in the hybrid cloud. 
Furthermore, it allows Splunk workflows to drill down from any event into Cyber Investigator for host-based investigation, leveraging the network and packet forensics based on smart data. Cyber Investigator on-prem and in the cloud is integrated to AWS Security Hub. Once enabled, Netscout Cyber Investigator events are delivered into Security Hub, and from there they are summarized and then accessed like any other event. This gives Security Hub, an already powerful resource of security events, a new perspective of cyber threats in the hybrid cloud deployments. We see the cyber events by type, cyber threats, network reachability, threats and security risks, and can examine what's going on. Here's the high priority cyber events for the different IOC types and taking one, we see the details. In this case, a malicious IP address with the TrickBot policy, category, credential theft, and classified as malware. Further detail is available here, plus drill down from Security Hub directly to this event in Cyber Investigator, where like in earlier demonstrations, we see the details of the IOC, the hosts affected, which we can display in Host Investigator View, two hosts in EC2 accessing this rogue site. And of course, we can investigate further the conversations these infected hosts are having by expanding the view, see malicious and normal traffic, and also provide more details at the network and even packet level, which you have seen in earlier demonstrations in this series. That concludes another demonstration showing how a cyber investigator fits into the broader security ecosystem, and in this case, helping to improve your security posture in hybrid cloud deployments.